Hi Gemini, this is Marcia, you're my channel Shaloka. Let's see, what is your situation and what do you need to care for me right now? Gemini is out there, someone the likes and weeks. What is it that you need to care for me right now? It's early morning. Uh, Gemini is out there. What's your first card, please? Your first card is this one. You got an eight of wands. So it seems like uh, things are moving forward. Okay, it's a fast moving energy. It's a travel energy. It's a communication energy. Um, just a second. This way. So the wait is over. Brilliant. Okay, seven of pentacles upright. Could have been like you're waiting for this. You know, you still have to wait for this. That kind of energy. But they're telling me the wait, whatever you put in the work and you had been waiting for it. Now the wait is over. Okay, because things are moving forward. Okay, that is the reason why the Seven of Pentacles wanted to show up in reverse. Okay, just, just, you don't have to wait anymore. You had been manifesting this with the Magician's energy. You, you wanted this to happen and it's happening. Okay, some of you might be dealing with a Taurus energy, a Sagittarius energy, or probably a Gemini energy. Putting that back in. Okay, Gemini. So something is moving forward. Something is coming through for you. Okay? And you had been walking on it. Like you had been putting in the work. Now the wait is over. Gemini, what is your next card, please? This one. Six of Wands. Success. Okay? Whatever this is. Is going to bring about success in your life you're going to be winning okay and this is something which you manifested all right then as what it seemed like you, you were defeated but now you're rising out of it you know you know uh, you re, you have revived yourself people might have seen you like a lost cause like defeated you know your story is over but then, this, there is a revival happening, a resurrection of a situation which has been dead. This could be um, a situation itself, which seemed like it's over. But the thing is, it's having a second chance. Okay? And you worked on it. Okay, this doesn't have to be a relationship situation itself. If you were struggling, okay, if you lost a job, okay, you might be getting a new one. If a relationship came to an end, there might be a resurrection. Okay, some of you might be dealing with a Gemini. I'm speaking to the Gemini, all right. Um, or a Leo. Alright. Gemini is out there. What is your next card, please? There is so much conflict within the situation. So the past energy. Okay? People might have been conflict, or if it's it's some kind of an opportunity, there could be competition as well. Other people involved. Alright? Can we have the next card, please? Gemini is out there. Whatever the situation might be, you're winning. You made it work. Yeah. This is not your next card, but they're showing me the Ten of Cups. Along with the lovers. So there is some kind of a partnership which is happening. Alright, this is your next card. Things are getting official. All right, Four of Pentacles, it, it, it's because you did not let it slip out. This is something which you really wanted to work out. You did not give up on this, even if it was in the Ten of Swords situation, you just did not give up. So now, things are getting official. But this could be at your workplace. Or this could be some kind of a commitment which is happening, because this, is, this speaks about partnership. It's, this speaks about abundance. So you can, you know, uh, fit it in 
within a situation if it makes sense only if it makes sense all right uh, which you are manifesting okay like they're showing me they started with the weight is over so that means you were manifesting it right you were putting in the work and you were waiting for it now the weight is over this is happening this could be a contract which is coming your way this could be a partnership which is coming your way this could be a commitment from someone which is coming your way whatever it is it has the potential to give you happiness even the people around you will be happy okay they might benefit out of it if if it's an employment you uh, coming home with a salary will benefit the people who is dependent on you right so it brings happiness and joy to the people around you whatever this commitment whatever this partner a lover's energy is about some of you might be dealing with a Gemini energy or probably a Pisces energy or a Capricorn energy. This was important for you or some of you might be dealing with a Taurus energy. This could be, um, you know, you might get contact from uh, a foundation, like it could be a workplace because this, this goes by the rules and regulations. You can see a bug or something. Is it behind me or is it on the screen? All right. Okay. Mm. What was I saying? Yeah, so you, you could be dealing with um, a, a management. Okay. Who is... You know, taking things forward in your behalf, on your behalf. All right? Hmm. Yes. This, this is an energy which I picked up earlier. Okay? Five ones. There is conflicts. Okay? So if you are getting something, people are not going to be happy about it. Okay? There are others who is involved in your story. Hmm. Uh, they are not going to be happy. Some of you might be dealing with a Leo. What is your next card choice? Gemini is out there. Gemini is out there. What is your next card choice? This one. It comes. If you're winning, others are losing. Yeah. Uh, they might walk away. Okay. There is going to be disappointments attached to this whole situation like if when I when I spoke about this this is the management or this is the superior uh, party who is taking things forward yeah who has to make that decision to take things forward they are the decision making committee but the thing is only one person can win Okay, when I showed you the five one situation, there is so much, so many people involved in the story. There is so much conflict involved in the story. So that's why they're trying to show me with the six of wands, if you're winning, the other people will be disappointed with what didn't come their way. And I also want to say it's, it's a very slow moving process. Okay, even for you. If even if you're winning, it's, it's going to be very slow. You might not be happy with what, what is coming towards you. It's, it, there is this energy because Knight of Pentacles, slow is moving Knight in this deck. Okay? There's something about taking its own sweet time. But I feel like somebody else is going to be disappointed with the way things are turning around. Some of you might be dealing with a Pisces, a Taurus or a Leo. What is your last card please? Gemini is out there. Uh, here you go. This is your last card. What is it? Four of Cups. I'm telling you, somebody is not going to be happy about this. Somebody is not going to be happy with the management, with, with the superior. 
Mm? The person who has to make that decision is not going to be happy. There's so much disappointment. And I don't feel like it is for you. Because for you, things are moving forward. All right? There could be a third party energy or multiple, you know, when I, when I spoke about the five ones. Mm, this card, it, it's just overwhelming. It's just a little too much to handle. It's going to weigh you down. How things are going to go is going to weigh you down. I guess some of you might be dealing with a Cancerian or probably a Sagittarius. Um, yeah, uh, hangman, things, the stagnancy of it all. Okay, how things are. When I picked up the energy about Knight of Pentacles, I was a little confused. Like, you know, how is things slowing down? Because it was moving forward. So for whom is it slowing down? Maybe it will pick up pace and then they will slow it down. Because hangman energy is, again, or, uh, you know, somebody has to wait. And I feel like that slowing down energy is not for you. For some reason, this, this story is for someone else. This is your story and this is the other person's story. You're winning, somebody is losing. Does that make sense? You're getting this abundance, the other person. I saw the hangman energy. So they're splitting the, uh, splitting the reading. Uh, the Harrowkid is in between. And uh, the hangman is for them. They are not happy. They are very disappointed. Things are slow for them with that Knight of Pentacles. Four of Cups, they are just not happy with how things are going to go. With the decision this person is making. Or the management is making. But for you, Ten of Pentacles, abundance. It has loads of potential. You know, to bring you that stability, security, whatever you were seeking for, it is coming through for you. For them, things are pretty much in limbo. Okay, because again, stagnancy energy and the Knight of Pentacles, everything is slowed down for them. Like it has come to a complete halt. Hmm. I'm telling you, this time, whoever is a spirit which is uh, which is kind of way, uh, uh, it's it's like. Not the usual blunt, like two minute kind of reading. Like it's, it's like before I start, I know where it's going. This one is like, you know, way too much layers to a reading. Which is kind of challenging for me to finish in like um, under 15 minutes or 12 minutes. I, I just want to finish it in like eight minutes and that's about it. Uh, this has different layers. I like it, it's, it's a change. But uh, throughout, like all of them, it was like kind of complicated, kind of, you know, kind of different from the usual style. So someone else has come through. Uh, yeah, and I'll have to get used to it. Maybe. Uh, so yes, I see this abundance for you. So I'm going to break this deck for you right now. Some of you might be dealing with a lot of energy. What is it? Seven of Wands. It seems like you have to protect, you have to be very defensive, or very protective about what is yours. Stand your ground. Fight for what is yours. That kind of energy. Yeah, that is your advice for you right now. Okay? Stand your ground. Uh, do not let people, uh, you know, mess with your abundance, if that makes sense. That's it for now. This is Marishi Yamashan Shuloka. Until next time, bye.